let's now learn how to solve equations so we have learned to make expressions or equations using the word statements so let's now learn how to solve them so there are three methods your book talks about method one is cancellation method cancellation method cancellation method is also called as elimination method cancellation or elimination method okay then it talks about transposition you can think about transposition as transfer plus oppose and the third method it talks about is trial and error we'll first let's do the trial and error let's say i have an expression 2x plus 3 is equal to 7 now in my trial and error what we are going to do is let x is equal to 1 so now what we will be doing is we will be solving this separately the left hand side and the right hand side let's solve left hand side so replace x is equal to 1 in LHS left hand side so that will be equal to 2 into bracket 1 plus 3 as for board mass we will solve the multiplication first so 2 into 1 is 2 plus 3 and that is equal to 5 now LHS is not equal to RHS because RHS is 7 LHS is not equal to RHS therefore X is equal to 1 is not solution is not solution to equation Now we know x is equal to 1 is not the solution. We will try x is equal to 2. So let x is equal to 2. Again, so replace x is equal to 2 in LHS. So that becomes equal to 2 into 2 plus 3 which is equal to 2 into 2 4 plus 3 that is equal to 7 now because here we see LHS is equal to RHS because both sides is 7 now therefore X is equal to 2 is the solution to equation Now what we have done we first tried x is equal to 1 then we tried x is equal to 2 if let's say x is equal to 2 also not correct then we'll try x is equal to 3 and that way we will keep on trying until we get the exact value okay until the equation is satisfied so this is the trial and error method let's do one more example of trial and error method x minus 3 is equal to 7 2 x minus 3 is equal to 7 now in this case I'm going to solve all of my stuff in this side and I'm going to make a table so if x is equal to 1 okay what is LHS so I'll write here LHS what is LHS if X is equal to 2 what is LHS if X is equal to 3 what is LHS and that way I'll keep on solving so let's say if X is equal to 1 what is LHS LHS is 2 into 1 minus 3 is equal minus 3 2 into 1 minus 3 so that is equal to 2 minus 3 plus minus subtraction 3 minus 2 is 1 
get the sign of the greater number which is minus 3 here so minus sign minus 1 is LHS equal to RHS no minus 1 and RHS is here RHS is 7 so they are not equal to okay so we'll will not use this so we'll have to go to next one which is x is equal to 2 so if x is equal to 2 2 into 2 minus 3 so that is equal to 2 into 2 4 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1 so x is equal to 2 gives us LHS as 1 that also is not equal to RHS 7 so we'll do the next one we'll take x is equal to 3 so 2 into 3 minus 3 which is equal to 2 into 3 6 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 so even that is not equal so x is equal to 3 also is not equal to 7 so let's take x is equal to 4 so 2 into 4 minus 3 which is equal to 2 into 4 8 8 minus 3 is 5 so again it is not equal to so 5 5 also is not equal to 7 so we'll take one more so next is 5 so let's take 5 x is equal to 5 means 2 into 5 minus 3 that is equal to 10 minus 3 that is equal to 7 wow so we got it x is equal to 5 then the LHS is equal to 7 which is equal to RHS therefore x is equal to 5 is the solution now we know that in this case x was equal to 5 and we started at 1 we had to do 5 times let's assume if x is equal to 10 11 12 we have to do so many trials before we get the correct answer and what if x is equal to negative number we are going positive we don't know so this is we'll have to again take a look whether we are moving away from our RHS then we have to take minus so it's confusing it's difficult it's very very lengthy so trial and error method is very very lengthy so what do we do we need to find a method which is not so lengthy and which gives us result without any trials check whether the value given in brackets is a solution to the given equation or not so the first one here is n plus 5 is equal to 19 and value given is n is equal to 1 so when we have to check this is kind of a verify example so we know in verify we have to solve left hand side and right hand side separately here right hand side is just one number so we don't have to solve so we'll only solve the left hand side therefore left hand side is equal to n plus 5 now replace n is equal to 1 therefore LHS is equal to 1 plus 5 and that is equal to 6 and as we see LHS is not equal to RHS therefore n is equal to 1 is not the solution let's do one more 4p minus 3 is equal to 13 and we have to check for p is equal to minus 4 so we have to check for p is equal to minus 4 so again we will do LHS because RHS is already a single number so LHS is equal to 4p minus 3 now replace P is equal to minus 4 therefore LHS is equal to 4 into minus 4 minus 3 first solve the multiplication 4 into minus 4 
multiplication of weights is 16 and 1 plus 1 minus which means different signs means answer will get minus sign minus 16 minus 3 now minus minus means it is addition same sign same means addition 16 plus 3 19 and 19 gets the sign of greater integer which is 16 here so the sign is minus 19 so answer here is minus 19 so LHS is not equal to RHS therefore P is equal to minus 4 is not solution okay do one more seven n plus five is equal to nineteen. We have to check for n is equal to two. Again we will solve LHS. LHS is equal to seven n plus five. Replace n is equal to two. Therefore LHS is equal to 7 into bracket 2 plus 5 we'll do multiplication plus 7 into 2 is 14 plus 5 that is equal to 19 now we see that LHS is equal to RHS therefore n is equal to 2 is the solution to equation 7n plus 5 is equal to 19. Simple equations is an interesting topic and I am sure you would love our other videos on this topic as much as you have loved this one. Don't forget to watch those videos and also subscribe the channel and click on the ring icon. This will ensure that you get notifications when we upload new videos. Happy watching!